Hey everyone, welcome back to RJK English, or we should say RJK Hindi. So, we've talked about how Devanagari works. Devanagari is the Hindi script. We've talked about how it's a sound packet language and what that means. We've been introduced to the vowels. We've written the vowels in their infinitive form. Okay. Now today, um, we are, and we practiced writing them. So make sure to look at the previous videos. Today, we're going to learn one consonant, the K, and we're going to learn how the vowels are attached to it when it's in a word. Okay? Um, this is my book, Devanagari Primer for Non-Hindi Speakers. You can follow these videos and you're going to learn Hindi. But for those that want a little bit deeper of a dive or you like having a book, it's in an electronic version. You can get it on Amazon. Otherwise, make sure to like and subscribe. It helps people to see these videos. Share this with someone that is learning Hindi. And if you're from Baltimore, hello, I'm in the Hamden neighborhood. It'd be great to meet you sometime. All right, um, let's get started. What's the letter we're going to learn? It's the K. So remember how I made the, uh, the vowels. These are going to be made the same. We have imagined this line, right? And if we're in English, we would write above the line. Ready. I would write above that line, right? But for Hindi, I'm going to hang down from the line. Hang down from it. Okay, so I'm going to make the K. So I'm imagining this line is here. And I'm going to make my line down. Then I'm going to start somewhere here in the middle. I'm going to loop. I'm going to make a loop like this. And then I'm going to go back up to that point where I was and loop all the way through and make a partial. Okay, let's look at that again. Down, somewhere in the middle. I'm trying to do this so that you can see. Someone in the middle, start a point, loop, meet that loop, and come through and make a half loop there. Kind of like you're making a half butterfly if you're a child drawing. And then you close it off. You want to make the line a little bit longer than the body of the letter. Okay? So let me close off this line a little bit longer. You have just made a K. That is the K. Let's try it one more time. And we always want to make the sound with it. What is the base vowel of Hindi? Remember, for English, it's the schwa, this mm, mm, like when I say about, about, about. I don't say about, I say about. Or what if I say today? I say t, today. That's that uh, uh. That's the base sound of English. The base sound of Hindi is uh, like but. And so if I draw this K, it's implied that there is an uh after it. So let's do it again. So here I am. I make my line down. I find uh, a little above the middle. I loop around. Come back to that loop. Right where I started, go through and make a half loop. What do I do now? I want to make that line above a little bit bigger than the body. Boom. Uh, I made that a little one. Cuh. Cuh. You don't need to be too perfect, okay? Don't don't think that you have to make this perfect thing. You want to get it, you want to be useful at it. What, what, you'll figure out mistakes later and you'll make them better, okay? But just get the basics down. What is this sound? Cuh. Notice I make an uh afterwards. It's implied that there is an uh in this. Cuh. Cuh. There is a silent uh sound. There's a silent, I mean, not silent, invisible. There's an invisible uh sound in there. Cuh. So now I want to go through my different vowels. And I'm going to draw all of them here. I've got my uh got my ah. Remember? Got my i. 
Yeah? I've got my E. Uh, my E. I've got, uh, let's make that a little bigger. I've got my E. I've got my, uh, where, where do I go to now? I go to O. See how it's a little longer than that three. It comes up a little bit more. Got my O. I'm sorry, that's my O, uh, O. Uh. And then I've got my O. Doesn't that look like the ohm symbol that you see? All of you, sorry, I <laughs> made that wrong. All of you uh, uh, yoga goers. O. A, A, not, not E, like bed, not I, like bit, A, somewhere right in the middle, A, A, O, A. Those are all my consonants. I'm going to demonstrate them on the K. Remember, we already saw this here. We had, uh, you know, for the K, we put, that line means a cr, or uh, for English speakers, we say cr. For Hindi, it's a flapped R, almost like Spanish, cr, cr. But when we put this in here, it makes a cre, cre, cre. There's an implied, a in there. So you've gotten an introduction to that already. We're going to go through these and mark them off, okay? What is the uh? It's already there, right? It's invisible. Every consonant afterwards has an uh sound, except at the end of words. For Sanskrit, it's different. For Hindi, we usually don't go uh at the end of word. If it ends in a consonant, consonant ends there at, at the consonant. I'm sorry, the word ends at the consonant. Uh, k, k. So we've got that one. And what does it look like? It's invisible. Those are in the parentheses, right? Ah, how do I make a ka? I extend this line a little bit, and I make an, a down. That's ka. Remember we did this? Here's the uh. And then we add that line. Well, to make that ka, boom, put that line in there. Good. How do I make this so I know this and I know I add this line to it? I add this line. That looks a little slanted, right? How am I doing on time? I hope I'm not going too long. Um, okay. Uh, eh. Remember, I talked about this last time. We have to think about it in a sound packet because the I comes before it. And you make this line, and then you're going to attach it like this to the K. Uh, I should do this better. You attach it to the K. That's K. K. Again, sound packet because if I... If I don't know that I'm going to do the I after the K, I'm going to mess up. I'm going to already make the K, and I won't have room to put this in, right? Okay, so I go. That's my I. That's how it looks. Now I'm going to make the E. It's the opposite. Make my E. I do this line, just like a ka. And I go from that line over to my K. Key. Key. Like that. Okay, how do I make how do I make it a cook? This is going to be below the letter. K, I go this way, like this. K, that's K. See, I start right here, 
and I go around and over like that. Cool. Below it, like this. How do I make the coup? I go the opposite direction. I start here and I go like that. Do it again. Start here and I'm going to go over it like that. That's a coup. How, what does the coup look like? Start here and I go down and around. Coup. Coup starts here and goes over. Coup. 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 How do I make a K? This is where it gets confusing. This is a, right? And this is a when I go like that, right? Well, now it gets confusing because this right off of that line and up, that's K. Remember we made the cre, cre, incredible, remember? Well, that's the, that's the A. So now that I've confused you because the A has this line, right? It's irritating. This doesn't have a line, but it kind of makes sense when you think of it this way. Here's the A, right? How do I make that an A? Well, how did I make the O into an A? Start right at this line, and I do another second line. Now it's, now it's ka, ka. Okay, so let's do it again. Got my K here. How do I make it an A, K, K, K? I go K. How do I make that into a ka? One more line. Now it's ka. Okay? You'll be happy that I'm showing you this like this because that's how it looks on a Hindi keyboard. Okay? <laughs> but that kind of gives us an idea of how to make these. Okay, now we only have two more left. Okay, let's let's go home stretch. Then we're going to learn one word and we're we're going long here. So, oh, cool. How did we do the O? Oh? We went like this. And then that O oh came off of that second line. Well, we're going to make a second line and make one line off of it. Or maybe I should start here and go up. Start here and go up. Cool. Cool. If I had none here, it would be ka, ka, ka. I'm sorry, ka. If I connected like this, it would be ki, right? But it's it's ko. Different from k. K is without that second bar. K is right off of here, and ka is right off of here, right? But if I want to make ko, here I go. Cool. Cool. How do I make it ka? What do you think? Right? Isn't this off? How, what do you think I do? You got it. Ka. Ka. Con. Uh, this is more like all. Ha. Con. Ka. 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 Konsa. Okay. So this one, I have this extra line with this. This one, I've got the extra line with two. See how that's different from up here, where I've got just the line off of? Okay, so we've gone through all of these. Now, let's learn our first verb. We're going to see two vowels in this. We'll see two vowels. Okay, so we know how to make our K, right? Here's our K. K. Now we're going to make two more uh, consonants. We're going to make the R. You already met it in this form, but that's not the R. R, remember I, I imagined my imaginary line? I go, come like this and down. Kar, kar, 
or uh, ra, 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 ra. I do the N like this. We'll, we'll review this next time. But I just want to get through this to show you. KR, and this is the N. Now, I want to combine them, and you're going to see that there are two, vowel, uh, two vowels. Why am I doing this? It's the second, one of two most important verbs. Karna. Karna, or karna, karna, if you're American. Karna. Karna. Karna is to do. To do. That's very important, right? I, I do this. To do is karna. So... I start with my K, go to my R, cut my N, and now listen to the sound. Cut na. Notice there's no there's no uh here. There is a break, and I'm sorry I, I should have explained that better. Sometimes in words there are breaks. Cut na. What is the implied here? We've got the kar, right? How do I make the na at then? Kar na. Do you remember? If I look up here, oh, I make an extra bar. Boom. Kar na. The implied ar here and the a here. Now we see a weakness in Devanagari right here, right? There is a break. I don't say karana, karana. I don't say karana. I say karna. So there is a break. So it won't always be obvious in Hindi, but it's usually about syllables. Kar is one syllable, na is a second, and there is a break between those symbols, uh, syllables. Karna. Okay? But you've made your first word. Okay, we'll go over the consonants next. So we're done with vowels, and we're going to move on to consonants. All right? So great job. Thanks for sticking with me through this. This is a long one. I will see you next time. All right, bye.